Hi, and welcome to Trout TV. I'm Hillary Hutchison. On today's show, my guide is the lovely and talented Rich Birdsell, my co-host. We have a lot of fun on the Clark Fork River, throwing dry flies for native West Slope cutthroat trout. Also coming up later in the show on Meet the Pest, expert guide, outfitter, and fly specialist Tim Wade tells us which flies he suggests for early summer fishing on the rivers. That's all coming up straight ahead on Trout TV. This week on Trout TV, we travel to the Clark Fork River in Montana. Hillary will be fishing with co-host Rich Birdsell. When he's not out shooting episodes on Trout TV, Rich is a full-time guide and outfitter. His company is based in Kalispell, Montana and called the Northern Rockies Outfitter. Well, we wanted to fish the Clark Fork. We've wanted to for a long time. Couldn't find any decent guides, so we thought we'd settle with settle Northern with Rocky me. Outfitters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you fish this all the time with, with your clients at Northern Rockies, so I suppose we're in the best possible hands. Well, you know what? We come down here early in the season. We're, even though it is, we just got into July the other day, flathead's blown out. We do a lot of trips down here this time of year, mm -hmm. and now is the prime time. I expect a good day. Awesome. Well, I expect some good guiding out of you. Trout I'll TV do host. my part, Hillary. You do your part. We'll have some fun. We'll see. All right. Let's, let's go hit get it. them. Well, the Clark Fork River is still running high, a little bit off color, but we like it that way. Uh, lots of lots of insects. We can generally get them on dries. We can get them on nymphs. I like to, to run a dry dropper combo. Um, we'll be doing a little bit of nymphing, and, and these fish are hungry right now, and, and they're we're going to catch fish in the eddies and, and certain spots where the water's not so so swift and heavy. There. Fish. Nice fish. Yay. Good nice job. Nice fish, Hillary. Good job. Thanks. Way to work your line. That was yeah. perfect. That Textbook was Textbook like... <laughs> right there, you know? <laughs> cool. I got a little behind it. That's but all right. had to strip to keep up. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Good fish. We're not in a hurry. Nope. Boy, that is a beautiful. Isn't that weird? We've been getting mostly cutthroats. Yep. Look at that. Cutthroat. It's my beautiful. MO. Well, we had a nice little eddy to pull in here, Hillary. Mm -hmm. A very beautiful West Slope cutthroat. And yeah. he's pure. Love Gorgeous. to see that. That's our state fish. What a pretty fish. Oh, beautiful yeah. Beautiful fish. Love it. Yeah, that's good yeah. stuff. Seems like every river I go to, even if it's not a cutthroat river, I'm going to catch cutthroat because they're in my blood. I love these fish. Most of the fish you've caught today are these West Slopes. Love to see it. Love, love the cutthroat trout. Beautiful fish. Yeah, it's awesome to see him so healthy out here. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Cuddy. Cuddy, baby. Woo! Nice fish. Awesome. Nice work. Thanks. You're doing great. Oh, I love those guys. Isn't that fun? <laughs> yeah. Meet the Pest is brought to you by the Montana Fly Company, manufacturers of high quality flies, tying accessories, and fishing gear. And now, from the North Fork Anglers Fly Shop in Cody, Wyoming, here's outfitter and fly tying specialist, Tim Wade. Hi, this week on Meet the Pest, we're gonna be fishing the Clark Fork of Montana, and we're gonna be fishing in July, and we're gonna be fishing some dries and some nymphs up there. Now, this is a great place for West Slope cutties and rainbows, so uh, if, the water, if the water conditions are good where they can fish on top, you wanna to tie on a stimmy chew toy, it's kind of a stimulator that's been improved, so to speak, and a great fly pattern. And if they're not taking on the surface because the water's higher off color or whatever, we can go deep with the Anderson's Bird of Prey, which is kind of a, a soft tackle, beet headed nymph. And uh, you can also fish this as a two fly rig with a hopper dropper if you want to. Great flies, great choice, all tied by Montana Fly Goods. Well, the Clark Fork River originates up just east of Deer Lodge, Montana, high up in the valley up there, just over the hill from Butte and it flows westerly. It's a pretty good sized river once you get down towards Missoula and then you got, of course, the, the Rock, Rock Creek coming in and you've got uh, the Blackfoot River coming in. So by the time it gets down here where we're fishing, it's a big river and it runs, I think it runs about 300 miles, ends up in Lake Ponderé up in northern Idaho. So a lot of water volume here and good fishing. Got it, got, got it. it, big fish. Nice. Yep. Yay. That Did was it just right dive? There. I turned my head for yep. a second. Never look Good away, job. my friend. <laughs> you awesome. know what? We saw him and we caught him. Okay, Rich, him. this is serious business. You got it. 
Which fly? This is where you're going to earn your pay today. Bottom fly. Good old wind helping us. That's yep. a big old rainbow. No worries. Okay. He's going to probably do that another time. Yep. Sick bird. Good job, Yeehaw! Brother. Cool. That was tough. I'm glad it's a nice fish because <laughs> that was a tough take. You know, it, that was a tough situation. We saw them up there feeding, but you're casting upstream and in right wind. into a tough wind. Yeah. So you did a good job Worth getting it. in there. We had to get a little closer than I wanted to because of the wind, but man, you did a good job. Well, since we decided to just go in and then leave, it was like a one and done. Yeah. You know, we didn't have a lot of time. Yep. So had to happen. Well, Hillary, let's <laughs> let this bad boy go. Pretty. Good stuff. Beautiful fish. So fun. Nice. It's, it's super cool when you get to learn something about fishing every single time. Yep. And that was neat to watch him nose up there right in the foam. We knew exactly where we wanted to be. And then nature's against us. It doesn't want us to catch it, but it's kind of fun to try hard and make it happen. Certainly a challenge, but you met it and excelled. <laughs> Good job. A plus for you. Well, we know people love to dry fly fish, but also you can get so much action just by going subsurface. So I know one of your favorite setups is a dry dropper setup, being able to get one fish, two flies. Yep, that's what I, I always like to throw two flies here. And you know, we use Montana fly patterns here, Hillary, as you well know. Um, this pattern right here, I always typically drop a Prince Nymph. Uh, this specific one is called the fly formerly known as Prince. <laughs> and it's got a little red yarn on top. Yeah. And I, it really has been working well for us. It's got a, the sparkle wings. And then on top, I'll generally use some sort of a, a bigger Madam X pattern, so, something, a stimulator type pattern. And there's so many varieties that they have. But they tend to float real well. And we'll drop that, uh, that dropper fly about 18 inches below. And, and they'll, we'll, get, we'll get them 50-50 many times. And, and uh, it generally works pretty good. Awesome, I love the flashiness of the fly formerly known as Prince. That's, that's a hot one. Make it rain, one. purple rain. You know what, when in doubt, I always say go, go with a Prince. These fish will always eat them for so many different insects. Cool. Oh, yay! There he is. Oh, good, good, right good. Right in the middle of that. That's yep. a good fish. Yep. That's a really similar take to the last one. That's a good fish. One. Yep. And I think it's a big cutthroat. Don't is lose it? that one, yeah. Okay. That's a beautiful fish. Cool. All right, you he's going to fight like the dickens. Okay, I'm, let's just, just keep him on and manage him until okay. I... Try. Oh, yeah, good spot to land one, I think. Good job. Good rowing. Good job, Hilly. Oh, that's Yay. a beautiful fish. Grab my oar in. Boy, that was pretty dang fun. Yeah. Yeah. hoo hoo That's a good fish. All right, let's take a look at this beautiful fish. Ah. That's, that's a, a nice That's fish. great. I love it. We've caught a lot of really nice, beautiful fish, but this one is classic, beautiful rainbow. Absolutely. Gorgeous. Good stuff. All right, let's get this bow back in the Clark Fork. Yay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Getting revived after a little fight through the rapid stretch that we just came through. And he's out of here. Happy bow. Woohoo! Good job, Hillary. Happy fisherman. Thank you. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice yeah. fish. That's what is wrong with this picture? <laughs> that is a good fish. Cool. Good timing. Yeah. Good run. That fish is dancing. That's a good rainbow. Oh yeah. That's that a big rainbow. Nice it's already fish. heads up though. Maybe it's been caught today. I don't Oh, it's a cutty. That is Couple. a nice fat fish. Cut bow. Sweet. Uh, what do you think about this fish? Oh yeah, beautiful. Just a real typical Clark Fork cut bow, we call nice. them. And that is a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. All right. I think it's, this might be our last fish of the day. It's right towards the end here. It's a good one to end on there. If it is, that's a beauty. Yep, good. All good right, job. back in. Good day for sure. We'll get some exercise on this fish. Woo! 
Bye bye, baby. Nice job. Yay! <laughs> nice fun. job. That was so you fun. You are on your game, I Hillary. I feel guilty. It felt like I just got to go fishing with the pal today. And, oh yeah. You know? That was definitely a fun day of fishing together. That was awesome. I love it.